Hi, I'm Brenda. Welcome to my channel, The Empress of Sun Tarot. We are joined today by Dave from Big Wave Sound Therapy. Hello. We are doing a Twin Flame reading as it is Twin Flame Tuesday for us. We tend to tap into that energy we like on Tuesday. So welcome. Please also just take whatever resonates and leave the rest. Um, we're going to do it a little different tonight. I'm going to read the feminine and Dave's reading the masculine and then we're going to work together on the relationship. So awesome. Yeah. So I'm going to start with the feminine energy and see what does the divine feminine need to know, um, this current week. What is the current collective energy with the divine feminine? Okay. So for the divine feminine, we get the card of very soon which is clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now in the card of romantic feelings, which is your feelings are real and worth exploring. So we like that with the underlying energy of you deserve love, feminine, um, you're lovable. So we feel like that's a very different calming energy for the feminine. So we are liking that energy. How would you say this week has been, Dave? energetic exciting De definitely <laughs> we feel lots of transformation is coming um especially with this pluto moving into aquarius yep. so definitely a good see. time to kind of get grounded and centered yourself before the more excitement it begins yes what did you say earlier the calm before the storm calm so before the storm. <laughs> get ready because here it comes so current energy for the divine feminine is the ace of swords so with that gaining new clarity over what the feminine clearly wants, you know, it says right there, decide what you clearly want. And we feel like the feminine is now focusing on what, what the feminine wants, the foundation, the five of swords, you know, that can be a lot of chaos, but he's figuring out he's, he's listening to the right bird now he's, and you know, down here at the end, he's got his arms open. So deciding to let go of maybe the mind chaos and tap into, um, the collective energy, because that three of cups can be that collective energy, which we feel overall collectively that twin flame union is coming together this year. You've been working on your heart healing in the headspace, um, feminine, and the immediate future is the eight of pentacles, which is doing the work, which could also be a new opportunity with work coming towards you, divine feminine. Are you ready for some new exciting work? Um, Something maybe you'd only dreamed of in the past. Um, and the current environment is the Knight of Pentacles. You have been doing the work to clearly manifest what you want. Do you feel like the change is happening right around you? Like there's more Pentacles than he needs to pick up even. Are you ready for that state of mind to be around you? Um, how other people see you is the, the Page of Cups, which is like, Coming from your heart space, are you having a heart chakra activation? Are you, you know, finding ways to be balanced and grounded? We see the bowl there, you know, um, and definitely, you know, a feeling of love being sent in the etheric energies. Um, the hopes and fears for the feminine is the six of wands. Are you ready for success? Are you ready for your own personal success? Because as you step into your success feminine, that's when the whole union comes together. And the outcome for the Divine Feminine is the Sun card. We love that. Yeah. Underlying <laughs> energy, the Ten of Swords, the King of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords. Um, are you being awoken in the middle of the night getting messages? Are you listening? Are you letting go of the things that no longer serve you? And really paying attention to, you know, where is your cup being filled up? Because we feel like source is trying to fill your cup up and, and maybe you're just not paying attention, feminine. So look at where um, where your focus is. Because no, if you focus on the things you want and that make you happy, that's what you're going to manifest in. So we are going to move on and let Dave do the masculine energy now. So divine masculine, what do we need to know today? Okay, first card we get is Faraway Places, Get Ready for New Horizons. Then we get Journey by Moonlight, Believe in Magic. Um, crossing Bridges, it's time for healing, connecting, and mending. And 
releasing. And then first light, beginning a new cycle. And some underlying energy is voyage of the heart. Love throws through you and to you. So um, just uh, there's definitely that journey that's going, kind of going on. It's a, a you've crossed that bridge, you've come into the new existence, and you got that new path that's starting. And it it's focusing on the love of the situation and and the beauty of everything. Absolutely. And okay. So we'll get headspace is the Knight of Swords. So crossed by the Eight of Pentacles. So kind of doing the work, uh, feeling those emotions, getting that message in the in the night. Uh, we've got that followed by the Ace of Ace of Cups. Sorry. So that's that's that feeling your emotions. It's that beginning of the feeling of that love, the, that j beginning of the journey, crossing, mending, doing those other things. Uh, Recent's pant path is nine of pentacles. So some definitely something about um, some victory, maybe some addiction, something like that. Um, We've got the headspace of seven of cups is kind of that confusion a little bit that's kind of going on, which kind of goes with that first light where you got a you know a new decision to make or or something that's coming along, and then you get the three of swords, which is just that that heartache and third parties that are coming up. Uh, we got five of swords. We got the page of pentacles, and we've got the strength card so you know dave we do have <laughs> the new moon in leo coming up in a yes in a couple days yes in about a week yes so that is coming up so it's the maybe that's the kind of the hopes and fears of things is just that being able to stand in your power be that masculine um how do you balance that masculinity with the with the, the love and that that emotion that's typically uh, associated with the divine feminine? Um, outcome card is five of the pentacles, so we got a little little uh, soul searching that's kind of going on for the divine masculine, I would say. Okay. Um, underlying energy, you got the Page of Cups, the Two of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Chariot. So definitely some nice, fast-moving energy about victory and making choices about things that are coming along. Um, you've got choices, and it's that that choices about love. It's how you how you interact or how you respond to things. And then the, the outcome cards is the nine of swords. It's that being woken in the middle of the night. It's doing the journey. It's <laughs> all that. So it's funny, Dave, because we've recently talked about I've been getting awoken in the middle of the night a lot. Yes. And I'm just like, okay, I'm gonna just when she so you wakes me up, I'm just gonna start getting up because clearly she's gonna keep going until I get up. Mm -hmm. And we were talking and I said, Dave, you're getting awoken in the middle of the night too, or you you getting your message or <laughs> yes. are you just rolling over and going back to sleep rolling back over and going to sleep so <laughs> that those messages will keep on knocking so yes until you decide to get up and say what's going on yes and we're going to get a card for the divine feminine from our Celia deck um, which is your words are powerful your words create your reality um how is your self-talk which I know as a divine feminine, I have been working on that self-talk and my self-worth. And the other card is change your focus, which is definitely what I've done as the divine feminine as well, which is focus on the things that you do want and be in the now, direct your focus. So feminine, what are you focusing on? And then we are going to let Dave get cards for the masculine. All kinds of fun things. <laughs> wow. Okay. 
So the masculine's got a lot going on. So we got some crystal healing. Um, that's just kind of maybe just some guidance about how to deal with the, the changes that are coming. Uh, set your intentions. So that's, again, that's going with the, the first light card and making choices and be clear about what you want to do. Uh, in the flow. So that just, <laughs> whenever I hear that, don't paddle upstream because <laughs> it, it tires you out and it's never a good thing. So just make sure you kind of release that control over to the universe and kind of go with things. Uh, get the abundance card. We got a star activation and we got to write it down, which kind of goes with that setting your intention. So definitely a lot kind of going on. And then the underlying energy for the divine masculine self love. So that sounds like a, a very good card that kind of goes along with the page of cups and the voyage of the heart. So it's a very nice, consistent message. Okay. So we are going to clean this up and then we are <laughs> going to do a relationship um, reading as well. And Dave is going to pull the Oracle cards and um, then we're both going to give our interpretation on the tarot because we both see things from a different place sometimes. So mm -hmm. even though we share Celia, we both have other, <laughs> other guides as well. And we are tapping into collective energy as well. It's because we're looking through the aura, looking through each of our auras and have a different perspective. Yes. So. Okay, what do we need to know is pretty fun couple of ways. Okay. Cards are talking a lot today. <laughs> Good. So first card again is view from above, get the big picture. And that's just kind of changing your perspective, making sure that you, you see things as from the the highest perspective possible. And then we got infinite abundance. Uh, abundance is pouring into your life. So that's a, always a, a good card. Uh, I know definitely we've been seeing a lot more abundance around our house. So it's a good thing. Uh, passion and pleasure, savor your life. And that's always just a good thing. Just have, have fun, be, be happy. And then we got fellow travelers, supports all around you. So that's a, a card. You're guided, yeah. In the twin flame journey, you do have the, your twin flame, so that that's always know that there's somebody there for you. And then we got reaching your destination, lights shining brightly. So that's a kind of the crossing that bridge and going with that. And then we got grounding, go deep and explore your roots, which is definitely a good time to do grounding right now just because things may get a little crazy and <laughs> the better grounded you are right now the better things are going to be and then answering the call the time is now so it's do that action yes are you stepping into service you yes. know part of that is being a twin is you know as you're finding your balance to shine that light and you know be the beacon to others yes We're using the Muse Tarot from Chris Ann today. So the current energy is the magician, you know, for, for the relationship. Are you manifesting, you know, everything you desire? The Nine of Pentacles, you know, knowing your value with that. As you know your value, you're going to manifest in that environment. And I feel like I've definitely been feeling like I've been working on my self-worth. And we see that I see that reflected back through you. Mm -hmm. So. And then just know that you've got all the tools. Always. <laughs> um, the foundation card. <laughs> do the easy thing. Is the seven of pentacles, which is about planting those seeds. You know, what do you want to grow? You know, the current recent past is the three of pentacles. So lots of pentacles in this reading. So going with that abundance and that three of pentacles is, you know, for me, a lot of times that community card, that contract card with, you know, 
with the soul tribe, you know, not just with me and with Celia. We have that, you know, for every person's life we touch and every person you come in contact with, you have a soul contract with. We feel like, you know, as you're appreciating those others on the path that have showed you the way, make sure you're showing the way as well. Because the headspace is the hermit. <laughs> Seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, we feel, because there's like light right there and guidance. But know that you just have to, you know, trust that everything's going to be provided for you. That infinite abundance, you know, in the right time as you're answering the call, you know, source takes care of you completely. So. The immediate future card is the world, cosmos in this card. So the world, are you ready to end this cycle and begin a brand new one? We are birthing in the new earth. Are you doing that by being in the high vibration? More, more pentacles. <laughs> it's like we either get a major or we get pentacles, it seems. So we'll take, how about that, Dave? Mm -hmm. What do you feel about that? So goes along with the top cards, the, the, the current environment is the two of pentacles, you know, and that's finding your balance, finding the stability. And like, she's really like savoring in the roses. And those are, I love those color roses. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and now another major, um, for how other people see you, the hanged muse, are you, you know, on this relationship, even though, even if you're not in current, contact with your person in physical union with them you are knowing they're your person and not out just dating and chasing and are doing things as a higher perspective working on your mission and just focused on what you need to focus on and they see that like oh you're you're not dating you know what's going on and, you know if if that's the case just be like i'm just working on me because Truly, that is the key. Um, the Hopes and Fears card is the Seven of Inspiration, which is the Seven of Wands, which is, you know, are you being guarded? Are you keeping yourself back? Are you, you know, you know, polishing that diamond in the rough is what I. And it's almost like standing in your own power light. Yeah. So it's, I know recently we, we both have kind of withdrawn and pulled our energies back just to kind of ground ourselves and get recentered. And we're working on some different things together, but in that same fashion, mm -hmm. we're working on things together. Dave and I are um, both became Reiki masters. Yes. <laughs> it was exciting. Yes. Yeah, so we are both excited that that is our current energy. We're going to step more into our new healing path, you know, as part of this next phase. And we feel like you are probably being guarded guided towards that don't be guarded like because initially when we were doing this you know Dave's like it took me two years <laughs> well it, it was kind of like dragging his feet a little bit even on the, the last part of this thing and we're like you know that's the only thing stopping you is the ego yes truly just the ego so the outcome is um the justice card so we have the magician the hermit, the world, the hanged man, and now the justice card. So it is definitely about a contract and fulfilling your part of the contract. Like Dave and I both have different parts of our mission. Dave does shaman work and does sound therapy and I channel Celia, you know. We both have separate things, but that healing, Celia's like doing it together is going to amplify it so much due to our love. Like the energy just flows through us as a channel, but... Yeah, it's kind of combining that Reiki and and that divine there. energy of love. Yes. So the underlying energy is the Five of Swords. So gaining new clarity on it. Fives are about change. Um, we get the Moon, which we were already talking about. The Moon, the King, or the Muse of Voices. So the King of Swords and the ten of wands so are you ready to put the burden down because like there's a lot of cows there <laughs> and the underlying energy is the strength card which the moon is going to be in leo i believe on the 25th 
So are you ready to release? Because that's new moon or full moons are definitely great about releasing um, that energy. So are you ready to release and move into a brand new phase? Because I know for us, we've definitely stepped into, it feels like a new phase. Most definitely. What a fun message. <laughs> yes, it definitely feels like a leveling up is going on. I know we both have personally been doing that separately and together. <laughs> Which forever when we were doing stuff in the beginning, you would always say teamwork makes the dream work. And we've really got back into that energy as well. <laughs> so it's all about that reciprocity, that give and take. Setting up some healthy boundaries and then just change your focus. Uh, focus on the things that you do want, not the don't wants. Yes. Which is a me. <laughs> I don't know. I've been trying to work on that. But you gave me the task of having happy or love as my two choices on my hands. <laughs> and yes. That's been a fun, fun challenge to try to keep it up with that. So. Yes. Definitely get that kind of sense then. So that was for the relationship. We also did masculine and feminine to begin with. So mm -hmm. thank you for reading with me. Oh, you're welcome. This has been fun. So, um, Where do we go now? <laughs> Hi, Corinne. How are you? <coughs> Is it Astro 3? Astro 3. I'm going to use the Oracle. Let's see what the question is. Well, we're just doing Oracles for them. So, Corinne, would you like an Oracle card for Twin Flame? I think I might have to close that a little more. <laughs> it's a little, little toasty. It is. <laughs> you know, it's a what? Negative three out. <laughs> it's insanely cold. Yes. So when we get our energy going, you know. I know. No. <laughs> so there's some Oracle cards for current then? Um, Corinne hasn't, there she is. Yes, would love to know what's coming in love. Hi, Miss Rhonda, how are you? And Astri, we will get you, um, yes. So what's coming in love? Here, let me go first. You go first. <laughs> well, sometimes it's just that way. I know. Hard stone. Corinne, what is going on with you? Because I get to pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you, and then deception. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. And then I get communicate clearly. So make sure that your intentions and everything else is very clear about what you want and what your expectations are. And then underlying energy is just wait. So take a pause, focus on yourself. And I wanted to clarify my cards. So I went ahead and pulled tarot because, you know, it's you, Corinne. So, um, <laughs> and you always donate, so we greatly appreciate it. So I got the Four of Wands, which is the Twin Flame card, and the Fool. So I feel like, you know, when I got in the right vibration, Dave came into my life. 
So I feel like it's just saying in the right time, like anyone from the past is May not showing make you who they are. Yeah. So, so kind of stand in your power. Just kind of wait for a minute. Good things are changing. We still feel like the coffee shop. <laughs> She's not letting that one go. <laughs> um, well, it said go the other way on that. Don't do it on that. That was like mm -hmm. deception and wearing a mask. So, um, be cautious. Yeah. So your intuition is telling you. So just kind of take a break. And Astri, um, we're getting a card for their relationship. Okay. These are still relationships. So. Miss Rhonda, what have you been up to? Um, so after I get uncovering treasure beneath the structure lies, believe beneath the surface lies great bounty. And pair that with wise leader, you're the beacon for others. So if you're standing in your power, you're uh, doing the things that you love to do, things, that relationship's going to come out. And then uh, underlying energies, rainbow blessings, blessings are showering your life. So underneath that was the narrow path and saying, if you've been going through a hard time, no, um, yes. things are changing because I have the soulmate card for you. Mm -hmm. So are you ready for something brand new and different? Um, that is all I get for you. And then I, so I get the soulmate card and then I got playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to shine through. Mm -hmm. And we will get cards from this round up. Okay. That's Miss Rhonda need to know. You are very welcome. Thank you for joining us tonight. So, Rhonda, I get grace and gratitude through gratitude and joy as it expands. Travel lightly, simplify your life, and fellow travelers, supports all around you. So, Changing that perspective of what you have on things and where things are and just be happy and joyous and grateful for everything that's around you is really going to help your attitude and, and kind of lift up your spirits. And just know that there's that connection out there. There's that fellow traveler. And the underlying energy is just infinite abundance. Abundance is pouring into you. So that's a very positive message. And I get for you a um, past life relationship. You've known each other before. So maybe somebody coming back around. Um, that maybe in the past it was unrequited love. There was not enough attraction to keep this relationship going. So maybe if that happens, somebody's going to come back with a little lighter energy because we get the flirt card, which is extend your lighthearted energy to others. So um, if in the past. Yeah, we've. I feel like something good is going to come around. Um, and okay, that just reminded me of a whole other situation. <laughs> Here we go. Um, when I was younger, my sister had somebody that was pursuing her. She, at the time, was not interested in this person in that kind of way at all. But after some time and some growth, they have been married for 30 years. 
Yeah. So just that's what flashed in my head. So yeah, so it's that time of our travel and like yes, learning and growing. So. Um, mm -hmm. And it's almost like, I don't know, as relationships or as you mature, you, you're, what brings you joy and happiness definitely does change. Yes. So. We, that, ha we have been working on that. Yes, I know. <laughs> so. <laughs> so, Ronnie, just kind of keep that in mind. If somebody from the past comes back around, don't, don't automatically put it as a no. He opened. So, um, Sun Empress Ari, we are, um, oh, thank you. I did them today. I was tired of the black. I <laughs> couldn't take it another day. <laughs> Dave, like you changed your nails. I'm like, I did. I like pink and pretty. And I would tell my granddaughter, pink or purple and she said rainbow because <laughs> that's, that's her favorite color rainbow she likes all the colors yes. but i didn't want one of each color so not this time i did that last time on my thumb for her <laughs> yeah and the best is coming Rhonda. just know it um we have been really doing the dark night of the soul um and we feel like you've been having that like Dave said the other day, he said, okay, can we be done with this already? And I'm like, <laughs> you're the one that asked for it. Like, literally, he's like, I want to work on my family karma. I'm like, okay, here we go. Be careful what you wish for. <laughs> so Dave has done you to work on his family karma, by the way. Um, so definitely. I know. And it's, it's been an experience. Totally never downloaded. <laughs> <laughs> So, <laughs> Sun Empress Ari, um, we are doing love reading. So, if you would like um, a message about love, we can um, help you. But besides that, um, this is twin flame reading. So, twin flame is love. So, yeah. Twin flame and love. Everything in the right time. See, I'll just say, Corinne, yeah. we both became Reiki masters. I've been like trying to get Dave to do it, and he's been hesitant. But like, I just did it. <laughs> just did it. So, like, I'm excited for us to move into that part of the journey together. Mm -hmm. So, but yes, he has. He doesn't always believe that. So, thank you, Corinne. Thank you. Yes. Look, he was reading tarot tonight, if that says anything. <laughs> he doesn't always do that. I feel confident enough. So stepping, that's you. Stepping into the power. So. so we're very proud of you. Yeah. These are our favorite shows when you're here. I know. I have lots of fun. So. so. Anything else? Okay, ladies, I think we got everyone. So we are going to um, call it an evening. Um, and we will, um, I will be back in the morning uh, for my normal coffee and car. So hope to see everyone there. Um, and hope everyone has a wonderful evening. Thank you so much. Enjoy the journey. Bye. Bye.